Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. We have more Warship news, stuff I wasn't expecting this early on, and it's a four-part news series. I'm going to be explaining it in depth, trying to help you guys understand what exactly is happening. Nine days, Warships is coming out, and they have this countdown in the Boom Box for you guys, which is crazy awesome. Remember guys, April 10th, Finland time, so I'm guessing it'll be like... 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 a.m. Central Time in the U.S. So add that to your calendars when you get up on Wednesday next week. I'm assuming most of you guys live in the U.S. You'll have warships. Okay, so we got a video, and we also got a blog post. We're going to watch the video quick, because I'm assuming some of you guys haven't seen it yet. And I'm going to be breaking it down for you guys, and then we'll move on, and we'll talk about the blog post. Let's jump into it. Okay, you saw how the beaches appeared and the holes disappeared. We know that's from upgrading your sections or unlocking new sections in your tech tree. It levels up your warship. Remember, you need to be a certain headquarter level to upgrade each time. If you guys have no clue what I'm talking about, go watch my last warship video where I broke down warships completely for you guys. Okay, so these are, it looks like gold league players, um, like a level 19 and a level 20. I don't know if this is a screen we'll get when we get matched up, but it's cool how the leagues work. And you'll see a diamond league a little bit later. Okay guys, here's the really cool part about attacking. When you're attacking real time, it has the bars of each person up at the top telling you how many generators the other player destroyed. So I believe the player attacking is going to be blue and then the person attacking your base is going to be red. So the person attacking my base, I'm guessing is the red and it might be switched around the other way, but it's still cool how this works, how you can see where you're stacking up against the other player. I think it will just intensify player versus player content even more seeing that and not being completely dumbfounded when you will lose a battle or win a battle. And then a victory, you get stars. This is the ranking system. As you get more rankings, your boat will level up. I don't know if this is the graphic we're going to get. It looks pretty cool. You're going to rise up the ranks and become the best. Okay, guys. So what we saw was really cool. We got some player versus player combat. Next, we'll get the tech tree, which I'm really excited about. It's a four-part series. So they're going to have a blog post and a video, I'm guessing, for each part. And... It's nine days until warships come out, so I'm guessing like every other day we're going to be getting a new video and blog post about the warships. So I'm guessing in two days or something, or tomorrow for you guys, or today for you guys, we might be getting part two about the tech tree. Okay, let's read the blog post. It has a bigger breakdown. Basically, this is the screen you see. Number one is your rankings. You can see this guy's a level 20, not a level, a rank 24, which converts him to a diamond i believe rank 21 was the diamond league the two is your unlock tokens you can use it to unlock new sections of your tech tree remember you need to be a certain headquarter level to do each section starting at i believe it was hq 12 is the second section and then three is your warship tokens you use those to upgrade nodes in your warship four is your diamonds the diamonds work the same as your main base down on the left hand side you can see if you look very closely, it says, uh, first of all, the claim button is a chest and it's a diamond chest because the player is in the diamond league and you can see it's a one out of four. And I'm guessing that timer that says six hours, 36 minutes, 34 seconds, that timer is until you get a new chest you can possibly get. So when you defeat a player, you're gonna get some stars. Then those stars you're gonna use to open chests but you can't open a chest if the timer is not allowing you to. So you can only open so many chests and then you have to wait a bit, but you can still attack, you can still get rankings. 
And then on the far bottom left hand side, there's those little green buildings as a tech tree. It'll just bring you into the tech tree. And then six is your kind of like a base builder for Boom Beach, which is really cool. And they might extend it to your main base also. That'd make it a lot more fun. But you can basically click on it and drag and drop defenses and put them out or redesign your base completely. You'll see a little bit later, there's like a button that you can press that brings everything into that, which allows you to make bases really easily. Seven brings you back to your main base and eight is the battle button. Okay, so you click on icon number six, which was the building layout manager or something and it brings this up again. I told you, you can drag stuff out, you can drop stuff, you can move stuff around. 10 brings everything back to your dock. Also, it's really cool at the top of the screen. It says season one, five days, two hours left, which means it has a countdown on your base screen for a season because unlike Brawl Stars and I think Clash Royale, seasons are actually a really big deal for warships because your whole tech tree gets reset and you get stuff. So seasons are very important. We keep going. You hit the attack button. This is, oh my gosh, guys, the troop reserve system is really cool. They said it's made so you never have to retrain your troops they're always retraining it looks like there's 416 space in every single boat i don't know how exactly that works or what the size or capacity of your troop reserve system is but every troop you have unlocked will be in your troop reserve system and they'll automatically retrain and also the diamonds you spend i mean you can spend diamonds to train up a troop reserve system fast or if you have instant training it just instant trains your reserves you never have to retrain you'll always have troops free to use which will be really cool and uh very very nice so you're always gonna have a full army when you attack so yeah when you hit attack you get this screen you can move your troops into your loadout boat which really doesn't matter because as soon okay boom beach which really doesn't matter because as soon as you match up with a player you have a minute to scout to change your combination or change your strategy so it really doesn't matter if you have the right strategy at this point but when you're ready you can hit battle and it brings you into a battle it finds you an enemy around your rank and around the same shield generators okay so this is the battle screen you have a minute to scout the opponent that's number 16 you can switch your troops number 17 that would probably bring you up to this screen where you can switch out your troops of course you have to be fast I don't think there's any um, yeah I don't it looks like there's no preset loadouts you can just click and go to um, it, there's no benefit to starting early if you're ready you can just start whenever um, you could also take up a minute and then start if you wish. But as soon as you start, you should get going because time could come in as a factor. Number 18 is the enemy. So the enemy hasn't destroyed any engine rooms yet. And then you are the blue one. So you can see how many engine rooms you've destroyed to the left of 18. You can also end the battle, which would be stupid. I don't know why you would do that. I believe that would just give the opponent an advantage. And that was all, guys. That's all warships. There's a lot more stuff they mentioned in the blog post, so go read it. But a lot of it I explained a while back, not a while back, two days ago on my Everything About Warship video. So go watch that video. I have a lot of good information in that. And I don't think th any of this new information disproved any of that information. But if I'm contradicting myself from that video, this is the newest info, so use this video. Anyway, it's really cool. Let me know how hyped you guys are or your troubles, concerns, or just how awesome this is going to be. One more thing I should note is down here, the diamonds to train up Yuzukas are very low. I don't know if this is just a dev build and that's just how it is, but it said one diamond to train up that one Zuka, which is really, or not one Zuka, to train up like 50 Zukas, which is really cool. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Also, it's 40, not 50. <laughs> Sorry. Bye.